finally able to fulfill his dream of learning how to scuba dive. Because he loves the ocean so much. We all do. And Bob eventually <laughs> became an open water scuba instructor and volunteered his time at the local YMCA teaching scuba to other aspiring divers. Excellent. I can't wait to meet this guy. Now, Bob's wife Kelly nominated Bob for the journey in honor of Bob's passion for serving people and his love of the ocean. But Bob continues his service to others as he teaches high school students about economics in the Monroe area outside of Atlanta. Well, let's head to Hoshton, Georgia. <laughs> Life is a journey. We all have different dreams. We all take different paths. But some spend their journey helping others, giving their time and talents to make someone else's life a better place. My husband's been a Boy Scout troop leader for 12 years. My sister has volunteered for the Susan G. Cohen Breast Cancer Foundation for over a decade. To these people, we say thank you. I'm Dave. I'm Lori. Join us as we drive coast to coast, knocking on doors. Making outdoor dreams come true. Hey, it's Dave and Lori Watson. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we're here to take you on a whitetail hunt in Wisconsin. All expenses yeah. paid. As usual, this journey begins with a connecting flight in Dallas, but it turns out there's no plane to connect to. Then two hours later, we were on our final flight to Atlanta. We pick up our rental car and make the one hour drive. Atlanta is a wonderful city full of good food, good sports, and Southern hospitality. reach our destination, the Georgia Gun Club. Now, as you can see, today's kind of different. We're not going up to a house. We're in Buford, Georgia, at the Georgia Gun Club, where Bob's a member, and uh, Kelly wanted to surprise him here. I thought it'd be different, kind of yeah. neat. Let's do it. It's definitely different. <laughs> So we make the walk into the club. Kelly told me to ask for the manager, Wade Cummings, and he turned out to be a great guy. Wade gave us a tour and then got us all set up in the members lounge, where we waited and waited. Then finally, Kelly comes in and we come up with a plan. Yeah. Yeah, come over here. I got to show you something. Oh, yeah. Or I got somebody that wants to meet you. Okay, okay. Good okay. that. Good that. <laughs> there you go. Hello. <laughs> come in here. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, she did it. She did it. Come on in here, Bob. <laughs> Dave Watson. Dave, I recognize you from your show. Hi, I'm Lori, Lori Watson. Nice to meet you, Lori. Nice to meet you. We, we got a brand new show on Outdoor Channel called The Journey. Oh, wow. <laughs> and The Journey says thank you and rewards people that have done unselfish things. And your wife and your students are pretty proud of you. And for just being such a, a wonderful educator, shaping the young minds of, of tomorrow, and teaching scuba diving at the YMCA for adults and kids. We're going to take you to the Cayman Islands to fish yeah, and scuba yeah. dive. <laughs> All expenses paid. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Caymans? Yeah. Yes. Some place I've always wanted to go. We've been going for that, 13 years, and it's like our second oh, home. Wow. We love it there so much, and we knew because of your generosity, you need to go on this trip and go dive and do something for you. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what to say. I'm shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. Well, when did you do this? <laughs> You're so excited. If, if I were you, I'd say thank you to my wife and give her a big hug. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. You deserve it. I'm gonna hug Kelly. You deserve it. Sweet <laughs> Kelly. We talked to her on the phone quite a bit lately. Yeah. You deserve it, baby. We'll catch some fish and. Sounds good. Eat some coconuts and. <laughs> the Caymans, really? <laughs> yep. You will be in okay, touch I appreciate real it. soon. Appreciate it, Dave. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> 
stay with us as we head to Cayman Brack. The journey is brought to you by Gearhead Archery, rethinking tradition. Nikon, trust, earn, Nikon. Game hunt, hunting wear is all we do. Avalon Knives, never lose your edge. And presented by Discount Tire, your outdoor journey starts here. You sure it's okay if all of us go? No, I'm not sure. Hey, Linda, have you seen any of the guys? I seen Jace. He snatched up the RV keys and headed out. He took my RV. He snatched up the keys and went. Woo! Life on the open road. I like it. Uh-oh. When you're speaking the language of love... Si, what are you doing with that? There are some people that have got it, and some people have not got it. You're gonna get shot doing that. If that's the language of love, I think I'll pass. Your journey to work, to play, to see places you've never seen before. It's not where you're riding, it's who you're riding with. The design is just too radical. It doesn't even look like a traditional compound bow. Yeah, I've heard that before. Introducing the military grade T20 from Gearhead Archery. Only 20 and a half inches from axle to axle. It's the perfect bow for your tree stand, your ground blind, or those extreme pack-in hunts. Ask your local archery shop about Gearhead. Log on to gearheadarchery.com. It's natural for turkeys to be aggressive, but nothing in nature explains this. Introducing the new Chicken on a Stick, nature-defying turkey decoy. In test after test, even the most skeptical hunters are amazed at how close turkeys get and how much fun it is to get them there. Gotta see it to believe it. Get them on the run with Chicken on a Stick, only from Primo. See the demo at primos.com. Hey, Y'all are wondering what I got, huh? Sorry, boys, but the buck stops here. Get all season success with the Evolve 7 Car Stud Food Plot Blend. This diverse and adaptive high protein forage blend will beckon the deer to your property all year long. Pay me the money, pay it up. Evolve 7 Car Stud. Stack the deck in your favor. Y'all come on back next time. Appreciate the donations. The nearest road is about 250 miles away. We're the last place in the country that has this type of flying going on. If I don't get it in with the bush pilots, there is no getting it. I brought you oil and coffee and a toilet seat. It's cold, and I'm like the worst Eskimo ever. I'm always freezing. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. It's a game for people with big cojones. I left Unicleet with about three hours worth of fuel, burning up more fuel than I anticipated. What the heck? The plane looks pretty mangled up. It's a, a grisly sight. It's just a stark reminder that things can go south in a big hurry and people can lose their lives. Mother Nature is about to drop kick us right in the gut. We are headed towards the toughest part of the year. It's a lot of wind, huge temperature extremes. Everything that you need has to come by air. Medicines and flu vaccine, crucial supplies. Stuff takes a lot longer to like move from place to place up here in Alaska. The journey with Dave and Lori Watson continues. This week we traveled to Atlanta, Georgia, where we surprised high school economic teacher Bob Rainier. Hello. Dave Watson. Dave, I recognize you from your <laughs> show. Hi, I'm Lori, Lori Watson. Nice to meet you, Lori. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we, we got a brand new show on Outdoor Channel called The Journey. Oh, wow. <laughs> and The Journey says thank you and rewards people that have done unselfish things. And your wife and your students are pretty proud of you. We're going to take you to the Cayman Islands to fish yeah, and scuba yeah. dive. <laughs> All expenses paid. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Caymans? Yeah, yes. someplace I've always wanted to go. Two months later, I was sitting in Miami with Bob as we began his journey. We talked and laughed and immediately became friends. 
Then we boarded our Cayman Airways jet for the short flight to Grand Cayman, where we would take another flight to Cayman Brac. We check into our condo at Carib Sands Beach Resort, and it was amazing. Well, my wife had a big surprise for me over Thanksgiving uh, break from school. And uh, we went to the Georgia Gun Club, which is where we have a membership and enjoy uh, the shooting sports. And she brought me in there. She said, hang on, hunt. There's somebody I'd like for you to meet. And she took me to, over to the member's lounge. And at the member's lounge, and I recognized Dave from all the shows I've watched on the Outdoor Channel in the past. And I said, that's Dave Watson. And then I looked at my wife and I said, what did you do? Because it was such a surprise. I did not know that she had nominated me for the journey. And I was selected and I'm here to share this adventure with you. We immediately grab our gear and head to the boat where we meet our dive masters for the day, Roxanne and Phil. We like those guys right off the bat. I am Roxanne Boonstra at Brack Scuba Shack. I work as a Jill of all trades. I'm in the dive shop, um, and often I'm on the boat as crew, uh, but my background is in coral biology. So I have a master's degree in coral biology, and I also do a lot of photography and videography. Oh, and dive instructor. We board the boat and get ready for our first dive in Cayman Brack. Now I can highly recommend the Brack Scuba Shack. The boats are comfortable and modern. The staff is professional and a lot of fun to be with. Bob and I double check our gear because that's the procedure. Diving is safe. Diving's fun, but you have to have the proper training. Then I pay a visit to Phil and discover he's a huge Garmin fan. Hi, my Garmin has a first name. It's G-A-R-M-I-A. All right. Ready? How's the water? Cold? Beautiful. There you go. Let's see if you're getting okay. Are you okay? He's okay. Okay. He's okay. He's okay. Do How do you feel about these waters? All right, Phil, what kind it's of entry are you going to do? He loves these waters. It's I, water I love these waters. Perfect love water temperature. Water. You want me to kick you? No, I don't want you to kick me. No? <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. You, you gotta have to do something special. This is a lot of pressure. This is a lot of pressure. I'm just going to jump. No, I just fall just off. Minutes later, we were 40 feet below the surface exploring a wreck. A wreck filled with color and life. Phil signals that he wants to show us something, so we follow him. A few coral heads later, we saw an amazing sight. Roxanne and Phil were growing coral to repair the reefs damaged by hurricanes. I mean, it was unbelievable. Coral has a renewable resource. It may grow slow, but it does grow. And Roxanne and Phil call these coral growing stands Christmas trees. Way too soon, the dive was over, so we follow a sea turtle to the surface. Very proud of you, Bob. Thank you. I'm proud too, Bob. Being, Thank you, Bob. <laughs> being a good diver, I mean, some of the hardest stuff to learn is the buoyancy control and not suck up all your air. You've got 1,500 pounds left. Nice. And I love the the Christmas trees. Yeah, they're gorgeous. How do you they? how do you get the the stag coral? to start growing? How do you, does it just start on its own? Uh, we have permission from the government to fragment corals. So we sample them, and then we tie them off to those little trees, and they just that is cool grow as could away. Be. They're super happy. That yeah. is super, super happy. cool. Happy corals. And then you don't do anything. You just maintain the... Just yeah. add water. They, they love just these add water. waters. They love these waters. The Journey is brought to you by the new Garmin Ver. Life, camera, action. Gearhead Archer, 
rethinking tradition. Black Gold, premium both sides. And presented by Discount Tire. Your outdoor journey starts here. Someone's going home. Make no mistake, with this group here, you better catch them. You don't, you gotta lose. As the world's best bass anglers battle it out in round three. He's a good angler, but he ain't that good. I just hope I'm in the hunt. He looks like the guy to beat. He's cheating now. Better bring your A game if you want to make the final four. And that's all that's important. I mean, one, two, three, four, they're all the same. It's gonna be good TV when I make the cut with six minutes left. I just hope that he doesn't catch one. Damn, I've left it wide open. Jack Link's Major League Fishing on Outdoor Channel. Being at Montana Game Warning, it's a huge responsibility. Careful. Something don't feel right here. Don't you point a rifle at me. Put the rifle down! I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Right now, I got butterflies in my stomach, and I guess if I lose that, then I need to quit. The Golden Corral, leave your wallet in, Coach, and upgrade your taste buds to first class! Premium weekends are here, America! Yeah. Live it up with prime rib, jumbo shrimp, and more. Just $13.99. Only at Golden Corral. How did the Food Saver 2-in-1 become the top-rated vacuum sealing system? Simple. When you have more ways to seal and more ways to save. When you have the best-performing vacuum storage bags. When you keep food fresh up to five times longer. When 95% of consumers would recommend the Food Saver system to a friend. When you get the best online reviews. And when you can save people up to $2,700 a year, you become America's number one vacuum sealing brand. Hey guys. Hello. Ann Morrow is a professional shooter. I have to do whatever it takes to be able to sell them so that where's the Zagarini dealers? We've got some guns. You guys got some shells? We're ready. Uh, yeah. Whoa. We could be a dealer of yours or not. We're here to shoot right now. Look. We don't even have a deal yet. We're gonna have a deal, baby. You're really after this. Uh, you want to <laughs> see this happen. Ann still wasn't given any answers. Making me wait. The journey with Dave and Lori Watson continues. A special thanks to our friends at Cayman Airways, offering true Cayman kind hospitality. Those who fly us, love us. And don't forget to pet Sir Turtle on your way in the plane. Now let's get back to Cayman Brack. Well, by far, my favorite things on this trip have been meeting you, getting well, to know you. you, and hearing all your great stories and about your wonderful life. Um, Let's see, petting a grouper, that was pretty special. That was. Uh, we and, and the grouper liked it. It, it did. It liked the. It liked being yeah. petted. It was like a. It was like an underwater puppy dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kept coming around, coming around, and wanting that. Now I've been diving for over 30 years, and this is the most spectacular thing I've ever seen. And you can only experience it on Cayman Brack with Brack Scuba Shack. Phil leads us to three groupers who not only wanted to be near us, they wanted to be touched. They followed us throughout the dive like, well, like puppy dogs. Then Phil gives us the underwater sign for lobster. But you know, I'd rather hang out with Mr. Group. Then we descend to 60 feet to explore the 356 wreck. This is a Soviet gunship purchased and sunk by the Cayman Islands, then later renamed the Captain Keith Tibbetts. It's become an artificial reef for all kinds of sea life, and it was a blast to explore. I follow a huge angelfish, and he leads me to guess who? My old friend, Mr. Grouper. By now, our air is down to 600 pounds and it's time to surface. I say goodbye to the Captain Keith Tibbetts from my first safety stop. Now there's a lot of exploring to do on Cayman Brack, 
So Bob and I walk a trail to the historic Cayman Brack Lighthouse. Then we walk over to the edge of the bluffs to see the highest point in all the Cayman Sister Islands. Now this is the perfect photo opportunity. Then finally we head over to the blowholes to witness a sight we'll never forget. And by the way, that's only 141 feet above sea level. The king of Africa's wild lands, lions, can weigh in at over 600 pounds. Unfortunately, even these widely feared predators are no match for a simple wire snare set by man. A majestic animal like a male lion deserves to be walking free not spending the last of his days unable to go back to the wild as a result of human greed and the strangulation of wire that's sweeping across Africa. Hello? Hey, Mom. It's me, Johnny. Have you seen that commercial for a vacation on Hilton Head Island? How in the world are you talking? On your roll. I can explain later. We have to get to the beach. I can see us now. Playing golf, riding bikes, flying on the zip lines and tons of other stuff. Don't worry about the money. I already busted into the cookie jar. Plus, it's only like $99, so it's on me. Wait, what? $99? Yeah, you heard me. 99 bucks. You and Dad will have a great time. I'm ready to go. Pack your bags for three days and two nights of family fun on Hilton Head Island. Well, that does sound fun. And we could all use a few days off for vacation. Okay, let's do it. I just need you to call 1-800-893-4039. That's 1-800-893-4039. Shop for money. One day. You sure it's okay if all of us go? No, I'm not sure. Hey, Linda, have you seen any of the guys? I seen Jace. He snatched up the RV keys and headed out. He took my RV. He snatched up the keys and went. Woo! Life on the open road. I like it. Uh-oh. When you're speaking the language of love... Si, what are you doing with that? There's some people that have got it, and some people have not got it. You're gonna get shot doing that. If that's the language of love, I think I'll pass. When you go to a job, boss is always watching. Don't think they're not. Don't touch nothing. Roger, Roger. They're looking at your work ethics. You want me to work the whole day? Love the smell of walnut in the morning. The Journey with Dave and Lori Watson. If you think you have what it takes, come fish the Cayman Islands International Fishing Tournament for your chance to win over $200,000 in cash and prizes. Details at fishcayman.com. Bob and I have had an amazing journey, but then he tells me that he's never been deep sea fishing. Well, that's something that we're going to have to fix. Just hop on there, guys, and we'll... Where you, where you want us to sit, Captain? Wherever you want. Jeff McDowell is the resort manager at the Carib Sands, and he graciously offers to take us out. Now, the weather is an idea, but hey, it's worth a shot. The day before, we had seen Jeff's wife in the water scrubbing the side of the boat, so we just couldn't help teasing him a bit. Your wife did a great job cleaning it. Yeah, that's... I can't believe you put her better. on her side. Yeah. It's, it's you gotta do sometimes. Yeah, I saw you were, you were helping her out by handing her some scrubbing. Yeah, pads. I was watching that for... He was very nice. And like come and get her, too. So. <laughs> Lifeguard. I would have thrown her a rope. <laughs> then our new friend, Sydney, puts everything in perspective. The BRAC is a very special place. What's a wonderful life in the BRAC? Can't complain. Nothing better. Sleep with your doors open, leave your keys in your car. Enjoy life. Good. And scuba dive and snorkel. Lay on the beach or go fishing. And of course, everyone is a new friend. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually here. Yeah, you. Dave gets the wheel, shuts the motor off. <laughs> uh, we see you drive motor. You see me drive drive cars before. <laughs> hey, what's with the wrong side of the road thing here? I got a little confused yesterday. It's just entertainment purposes. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're on the wrong side of the road, Bob. Come on. <laughs> Sydney rigs up a ballyhoo, and before you know it, it's fish on. Bring him in, Bob. First saltwater fish. Congratulations. <laughs> Man. Whoa. Let's see. Minutes later, Bob brings in another. I don't want to hold on to him like that. <laughs> then the weather takes a turn for the worse, and Captain Jeff tells us we better head in. We agreed, but Bob's fishing isn't over. Jeff gets us back home safe and sound, and then he sees some huge tarpon right under the dock. Gosh, I don't know what to tell you. We might be... Boat out there. There you go. Hook it, hook it, hook it, hook it, hook it. There you go. <laughs> oh. There you go, Johnny. Oh, yeah! Yee -hee. Whoa! That there you go, he's gonna jump again. There you go. Wow, now we think the fight is over but that tarpon had another idea this fight was just getting started the tarpon makes a final jump and throws the hook then has the nerve to come back and brag <laughs> what do you think Bob? Oh, that was great. That was wonderful. <laughs> that was a good one, too. Was that big fish one? Yeah, he was, he was strong. He was very strong. Oh, you can't like, stop him. Even at the end of the fight, he still had more. <laughs> no, when he wanted to go, he just went. Oh, I need to eat my Wheaties and do a few more push-ups <laughs> or something. Now you've been deep sea fishing. Yeah, deep sea fishing, caught tarpon, watched him jump. That was so much fun. Yeah. That really was. It was time to say goodbye to beautiful Cayman Brack where the scuba diving and the fishing doesn't make this place what it is. It's the people. People like Jeff from Toronto, Phil from Pennsylvania, Roxanne from Florida, and Sydney, who was born right here, all working together to make this world a better place for future generations. And Bob? Well, Bob fit right in.